morning, evening, afternoon, everyone. My name's Kaze. Today, we're going to talk about some common misconceptions in society, as well as facts that you may have just not known. With this video, I hope to clarify some mix-ups, as well as expand on your common knowledge. Is some of this going to be useless? Definitely. But this gives you the chance to be that super cool kid who corrects all of their ignorant friends in conversation. They'll love that. Let's get started. Can you see me? About now. The two eye conditions of farsighted and nearsightedness seem to be mixed up every single day, so I thought we'd tackle that first. Being nearsighted means you can see things better that are closer to you rather than far away, while being farsighted means that you can see things better far away rather than you can up close. This had confused me at first too, but makes a lot of sense if you think about it. interesting and terrifying as his story of Frankenstein is, as well as how well established it is in modern culture, it astounds me how many people do not know that Frankenstein is in fact the name of the scientist, not the monster. The monster's name? Well, the monster. Looking at it from a more subjective standpoint though, Dr. Frankenstein did recreate life out of parts of dead people, and when he did bring the monster to life, he outright neglected it. Who's the real monster here? Basically, anything that stimulates the central nervous system is classified as a drug. The way caffeine does this is it blocks adenosine, the go-to-sleep chemical, which increases dopamine, the feel-good chemical, which increases adrenaline, which in turn makes you feel more awake and alert. The reason it's not being highly regulated by the government is because it's not recognized as an immediate threat to human health. It would take a lot of caffeine to kill you, I'm talking like 50 plus cups of coffee at least. That being said, you can find caffeine in quite a few common foods, including teas, soft drinks, ice cream, yogurt, and even chocolate. Caffeine every day. Unfortunately, adding that pinch of salt to the saucepan won't do you much good. Naturally salted ocean water does boil much faster, but that's because it already has a high salt content in it. I guess what I should say is that you can make fresh water boil faster by adding salt to it, you're just going to need a lot more of it. Oh, may I suggest just putting a lid on the saucepan? I'm sure you're familiar with the five common senses of touch, taste, sight, smell, and hearing, but did you know that we actually have more than five senses? We also have the senses of pain, balance, temperature, hunger, thirst, the list goes on and on. Like right now, I can sense the end of this video. Weird, right? Oh, but there's one more thing you might not have known. Did you know if you like the video, you can indicate so by giving it a thumbs up down below? And if you like me, you can subscribe? I can't make this stuff up! <laughs> but really guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you learned anything new, tell me in the comments below. And if you didn't learn anything new, I hope you found this at least mildly entertaining. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you later guys!